Hey everyone, Biofan here. Bioware's new end 7 day trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda is full of details you may not have noticed. As with my other Hidden Gems trailer analyses, we'll be focusing on that, but first, if you've yet to watch the trailer for yourself, please go do so now and then come back afterward. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, let's get moving then, shall we? We begin with a shot of the Hyperion, followed by several quick scene flashes. Let's slow each one of these down and take a closer look. I'll put the ones that go with each other together for your convenience. Here we see Liam, a squad mate who I formerly referred to, and will likely continue to, as Dad Pants and presumably Ryder in the lower left corner. You may remember Liam from the Sony gameplay demo a month or so ago. The two are standing at what best I can tell is a window, and there's a bright flash of light. Note that for trailers, scenes from different areas of the game are often stitched together to give the trailer a certain tone. So this flash and the other flashed scene may be unrelated to the Hyperion approaching Andromeda, just letting you know. Also note that this is in fact captured from the game, the whole thing, but some of the angles are changed around for the purposes of the trailer visuals. They're obviously in a spaceship because in the third flash, Liam is sucked outside. In line with the Game Informer coverage, Liam has a dark skin tone. This is the most we've seen of Liam's face at this point. As Liam is flung out of the window, the light flashes again. There is a caution warning next to the window. The flashing continues, and Liam is hanging on for dear life. It's hard to tell, but Liam is definitely reaching out for Ryder. He loses his grip and is flung out of the ship along with Ryder. There is a bluish-colored star. We see glimpses of a star of a similar color later on in the trailer. A piece of the ship wreckage has SH something. I think either a 3 or an E, maybe a 2 on it. Not sure what exactly is going on here in this scene, but I think either the Tempest or Hyperion or maybe even a shuttle is being attacked. I believe Ryder is falling down to a planet as there are clouds and rocks, possibly mountain peaks, below. The only planet we've seen with jagged pointy peaks like that so far is this planet featured in both previous E3 trailers. There's also thunder in the clouds. This makes me think that the planet may be the Habitat 7 from the Game Informer coverage. Hyperion arrives at its designated golden world, dubbed Habitat 7, to find that it is surrounded by an energy cloud and has an ever-changing atmosphere. So maybe this is it. Next we see Mail Rider and an Asari assisting him. Judging from the room, I think this is an infirmary or cryopod storage room. In either case, I furthermore think that the Asari is likely Dr. Lexi, who was revealed in the Game Informer coverage to be on Hyperion, helping out in the beginning of the game. So I'm thinking this scene may be your protagonist waking up from a 600 year long cryo nap, or the non-protagonist twin is supposed to have some complications when waking up from their cryostasis, so it's also possible that this could, instead, be the scenario that plays out if you choose to play as the female writer twin. It's not just Ryder falling to the ground and knocking over Dr. Lexi in this scene, as you can tell from the guy in the back who is also stumbling to the floor. So something must be affecting Hyperion. Either an attack or drastic evasion maneuver, maybe? Ryder has a wristwatch or some other kind of wristband. Hell, it's probably a Fitbit. Just kidding. Dr. Lexi has a data pad, and I've gone frame by frame, but can't make out what's on it. I think it's some kind of keyboard, though. And that's it for the flashes, so let's move on. Ryder wakes up, helmet glass shattered, likely on the planet he fell toward. The fire in the background could be the flaming ship wreckage we saw falling alongside Ryder. Next, we see male Ryder hanging out in the shade on a desert planet. My guess, as mentioned in the Game Informer coverage, which you can already tell dropped an F-ton of info, this planet is probably Elodin, which would make sense for as to why Ryder is sitting in the shade. On Elodin, you can only withstand the harsh heat for so long before it affects your HP, and you have to seek shelter. 
Ryder is also holding something shiny, but I can't quite tell what it is. There's this letter-number combination on both arms of his outfit, but I'm not sure that it stands for anything significant. These structures here look like seats to me, so I think Ryder is in some kind of building. Maybe an outpost. Outposts, as detailed in the Game Informer coverage, will function similarly to camps in Dragon Age Inquisition. You'll set up a location, probably at specific points on the map, that you can use for fast travel, redoing your weapon loadout, and revealing nearby points of interest. I guess you can probably rest and recover at outposts as well, as this could very well explain why Ryder is there taking a seat. The round shape here could very likely be a door. Also note that default male Ryder has light brown eyes. Briefly, we see the Tempest fly toward what appears to be a crashed ship or some kind of alien structure on the same desert planet. The desert planet appears to have a ring, and from the looks of it, I think we're not far from the equator. There's also a nearby moon. On the ground, we see Ryder, Liam, and the female squadmate from the Sony gameplay footage, as well as likely here in previous trailers, alongside our new set of wheels, the Nomad. They appear to be bracing for a fight against this alien creature, which myself and the other YouTubers over on the Andromenards podcast have affectionately named a Space Bear. Next, we see Ryder sitting again, but I don't think it's the same area from earlier, as the lighting is much darker. Could be a similar room, but in a different location. Next, we see an injured and limping Ryder walking away from a flaming nomad in the middle of a blizzard. Yet another thing we learn from the Game Informer coverage is that if the Nomad is damaged enough, it can explode, possibly killing you, and you'll have to continue traveling on foot. There's a glowing red object and a tower off in the distance. Next, we see Ryder inside what is probably the Tempest, and there is a planet visible in the background. The Game Informer coverage mentioned being able to see the planets you're near outside the window from the Tempest, so this could be it. Next, we see an alien whose green armor, sharp protruding shoulders, leg shape, and exterior texture are consistent with the cat, levitating the air, arms outstretched or holding something, moving toward the floating object while it itself moves towards the alien. I say consistent because its body and back of the head are consistent with cat, but the facial region looks a little bit different. It's possible the cat have variations in their physical form. Next, we see Ryder, Liam, our mysterious female Andromeda Initiative companion, and our Asari squadmate called PB, overlooking a chasm. Judging from the green glow, this is likely a remnant vault. Taking a look at the panel and the planet hologram, I'd say this next scene takes place in the heart of a remnant vault, similar to what we saw in the Sony gameplay demo. Unlocking the vault reveals an orange hologram of some kind of structure. Liam and Mystery Woman, let's call her that for now, I guess, tag along, and there is a container of what I assume is explosives to the side? Bioware producer Michael Gamble confirmed on Twitter that neither of these two characters are the Ryder twins. My guess is the woman is Gian Garson, since she's been seen in this armor before. No idea who the guy with her is, though. Note they both have buzz cuts. I'm hoping this isn't a sign that we'll be receiving Dragon Age Inquisition quality hair options in the character creator, please. The woman appears to be injured. Off in the background, we see some kind of tower with blue, wispy, and orange glowy stuff coming out of it, which likely is causing the disruption in gravity taking place with the rocks. Next, we see some cat. Note that judging from the bend in their legs and the protruding shoulder shape, they briefly appeared in the E3 trailer from like two years ago. We also see a shot of a cat looking up at the tower of glowy wispy colors. The next scene shows a character in N7 armor typing away at his Omni tool. The only two characters we know who can wear N7 armor are your father, Alec, and your protagonist, according to the Game Informer cover. I'm pretty sure this is Alec, as we see Ryder behind the character later on in the trailer, and their faces appear to match. Either Ryder, Liam, or Mystery Woman is behind us, and judging from the green glow, we're inside another remnant vault. 
It's made to look like we're setting off this detonation in the scene, which we likely are, but the actual explosion appears to be outdoors in a frozen environment, not in a remnant vault. And I think it explodes because a bolt of lightning hits the exploding object. Next, we see Ryder struggling to keep a hold of a moving object, probably a ship of some sort. Given the blue star from earlier, and that it's shown several times throughout the trailer, I'm thinking this planet is Habitat 7. Next, we see Alec Ryder interacting with the blue triangular hologram. There's a tiny little bit of green glowing specks behind Ryder, so they must be inside Remnant Vault. The structure behind the hologram does not resemble the door to the heart of the vault in the Sony gameplay footage. Next, we see aliens walking into a more well-lit space. I'm not sure if they're Ket, though, as their heads don't resemble Ket, though their green attire does. I can't really get a good look at their shoulders as well. Either these are a different kind of alien, or maybe Ket have diversity in their physical form. Once again, we see this thing emerge from the ground, though in an ever so slightly extended clip compared to the EA Play trailer. I'm thinking it looks more like a living creature, probably one of those super bosses we encounter on planets according to the Game Informer coverage. It may be this one, but there's not much to go on other than the sun in the background and the unearthed dirt in the air. Next, we see Ryder in darker armor approaching a super boss. We saw this same scene back in the Sony gameplay footage, but now that we know some more, I thought I'd go ahead and clarify some things. The guy to the left, Dad Pants, is Liam, and the mystery woman is to the right. Be sure to check out my Hidden Gems analysis of that footage as well. Also inside the vault, we see Ryder fighting off some kind of remnant. Notice the placement of his hands. It looks like we're holding it off and pushing it away. I guess this is what it looks like when a remnant attacks. This next bit shows Liam and I think PB providing backup as Ryder and some Solarians run away while guns fire on the squad and the Tempest arrives. I'll remark more on the yellow energy fired at the squad momentarily. The alien in this next shot has green armor like the Ket, but its horn loop thing is different, as well as the shape of its shoulders. The surface texture could align with the Ket, but it looks a little more smooth. When asked about this character on Twitter, Bioware creative director Mac Walters expressed that he may not be the proper pronoun for this character. Either there's something unique with the gender of the cat, this isn't a cat, the voice in the trailer doesn't actually go with this scene, which is actually pretty common for trailer narration, or maybe this character is female. The horn loop thing kind of looks like a crown to me, so I wonder if, maybe, this is the queen of the cat, and all of the other cat we've seen so far have been her children, workers, grunts, etc., similar to bees and ants. The alien walks toward Liam and Ryder, who appear to be handcuffed by a beam of yellow energy, similar to the energy fired at them previously in the trailer. So, I'm thinking this kind of alien, whatever it is, was attacking the squad in that previous scene. Something very subtle in this scene is the glowing orangish-red energy in the background, which appears similar to the glowing orange energy we saw at the tower earlier in the trailer. Which makes me think either this is a different kind of cat, or the tower belongs to this kind of alien, or they just played some kind of role with the tower somehow. Be sure to stay tuned, as I'll be covering every single little bit of the massive amount of news that came out recently. I'll put an annotation up on the screen to that video, and if it's active, it'll be good to go. What do you think of the end 7 day trailer? What did you notice? Who is your favorite squad mate so far? Tell me all about it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And while you're down there, be sure to attack that like button and share this video with your friends, family, random strangers, it's all good. For more Mass Effect Andromeda and Bioware related videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe bar up at the top of the screen. For instant news coverage of Bioware games, feel free to follow me on Twitter and other forms of social media, links to which can be found down in the video description. If you like my videos and would like to help support my channel and improve its quality, head on over to my Patreon page to donate. For more information about my Patreon page and the donation process, there's a video here on the screen with all of that as well.